a guy scores a touchdown, how do the linemen decide who gets to be the guy to run over and like lift him up? It just kind of happens. You don't have dibs on it or anything before. Well, you just, I mean, you just got to run down there and, you know, you kind of make eye contact with the guy who scored and you kind of know, like, all right, I'm about to pick you up. Are you going to pick me up? Like, you're going to jump on my shoulders. It just kind of, you don't really practice it. It just kind of happens. So the, are the linemen <laughs> racing to get to that guy? Like, do you and Billy look at each other and think, oh, I'm getting to him first? Oh, no, they just. <laughs> Just run down there. Usually the guy who's most tired is last. <laughs> most tired. Some guys don't even make it down there. Just you know, turn around and hug JT. He's right there usually. Are you gonna so pick me up? Have you ever been picked up? Yeah. Uh, Curtis picked me up. Mike Did, tried to pick yeah, me up. Yeah, Mike tried, didn't he? he it tried. Didn't work out. No. <laughs> what nope. happened there? That didn't look right. Well, like we've talked about it before. I was like, all right, man. Like usually, like I'm picking everybody up. I was like, how about you pick me up this time? And I got, before he, he scored before and we went down there and he didn't do it. So I didn't think he was going to do it this time, but he actually he pulled a quick one on me. He tried to do it. I wasn't ready for it. Is he, you're not an easy guy to lift, though, right? No, Is he okay? Not. Yeah, he's all right. He's <laughs> <laughs> got this like, vision of like dirty dancing. Yeah. Is strong enough to, like, yeah, he's strong enough. Like that? I'm going to give him a little bit more effort next time and I think he'll be able to execute the move. Yeah. Did Zeke uh, pick you? No, we never, never did that. Never got the chance to. He always did this. We did the salmon a little bit. You guys remember that? Yeah. <laughs> now he's now we, we got. Need a is that retired? Is the salmon gone now? Do you take that with him? He's he still got it. I mean, it's, it's still around a little bit. Do you want to pick one of us up? <laughs> <laughs> you guys score. Pat, <laughs> <laughs> when you got score a touchdown, then I will. Pat, when you look at Mike, does he? I asked Urban this question too. Does he remind you more of Carlos or? Does he have more Zeke in him? Do you, do you see any of both of those guys in him? Um, yeah, I see a little bit of both. Um, Carlos, I mean, he used to run people over, and, and uh, Mike's been doing that a little bit. And you see Mike even pulling away from guys running, so he's got a little mix. Ur right. Urban gave him a hard time. time that he didn't pull away and finish that one run down the sideline on Saturday, though. Do, do offensive linemen give him a hard time, too, if you open up that hole and he doesn't finish in the end zone? No, we don't give him a hard time. I mean, he he did that. He had a big run, so happy for him. I'm sure he'll he'll get better at it and you know if he needs to make a cut or just turn the jets on a little bit more better angles. He's still a young guy, so he's still learning. Did you have to talk to him about not trying to be easy, uh, be your own, being your own person? Um, no, I think he was he was all right with that. I mean, last year during camp, he was kind of you know when Zeke was here, he was making his statement of who he is and, who, and what kind of player he is. And we all kind of got his identity then. And unfortunately, he got hurt. And, you know, he just kind of picked back up right where he left off, you know, this year when I, when he got his chance. And he's been, you know, the, the kid runs hard. You know, that's, that's his identity. Is it fair really to compare him, like he's so young, to Zeke's senior year? Like, you know, everybody has Zeke fresh in their mind. So Everything they're comparing him to is just last year when he was like at the top of his game. Was that really a fair comparison? You know, it's tough. You know, we're I think we're a different team this year. You know, we're running a lot of different stuff. We have a lot of guys getting the ball, so you know, he's going to make his own statement and make his own, you know, personal identity and you know, and kind of sculpt what he's got. You know, make it all on his own, all his own. What was your reaction to Indiana's win over Michigan State? Um. No, I, I was pretty shocked that uh, Indiana beat them. You know, Michigan State's always tough. They always play us tough. Well, I mean, I was watching some Indiana film, and they got—they're a good team. They're a good defense. They have a great, really good O line. So they're—they're. They're, uh, you know, they always play us tough too. I think every <clears throat> past few years they've played us pretty tough. So I expect the same. What do you remember year. most about that game last year at Indiana? Um. Those three long touchdowns he had, those ones, yeah, like 70 yards, 60 yards. And just it came down the wire. I mean, it was a hard-fought game, and you know, those guys don't lay down. So it's they always play tough. Pat, you mentioned this being a different team. You guys lost 12 NFL draft picks, five first-rounders. But in a lot of ways, you look better. In a lot of ways, statistically, you guys are better. How do you kind of make sense of that? Um, It's just a credit to... I feel like Coach Meyer, the program, 
you know, the way we recruit, the way we develop players. You know, those guys last year were like that starting now, those backups last year were really good players then. It's just I guess that a testament to recruiting and the culture. The guys ahead of them were just really good players too. You know, we have really good players in this program. And it just makes everybody better all the time. I remember my you know freshman, sophomore, junior year. You know, every game that I went in, it was easier than practice because I was going against Joey Bosa every day, Dolphus Washington every day, Mike Michael Bennett every day. You know, those guys are some of the best D linemen in the country and I get to face that every day and it just makes just having those good players and the way we develop those players and competing every day just makes the programs that much better and stronger. So it's you know, you're just getting great work every day and those guys are ready to go when their numbers cold.